Hey, good morning, YouTube. What's up? How y'all doing this morning? Hey, look, this your boy Jimmy Belcher. In this video right here, we're going to talk about Adam Silver and the Kyrie Irving situation. I'm going to let my dude Jack Frost tell y'all what's going on with it. But, um, hey, look, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like. So let it be written. So let it be done. Adam Silver meets with Kyrie Irving. Says... He does not believe that Kyrie Irving posted the content due to any semitism. Now, my whole question is, what about all of the people that fired Kyrie? They seems to be in the wrongs to me. Cause I'm proud of me This chopper will do your heart like Sosa So on to stop the beat Even if you turn your AC on It still won't stop the heat I come through sliding in that cat To stay up off the streets Free YSL But they wasn't the only one That was pushing peas Say they won't smoke Then it's gonna be a chain react Like Versace feet Sometimes I feel like Ray Cause I don't see nobody stopping me I'm out in zone Dream me and Guapo Speaking Guapanese Got hoes staring at my feet Like how much you drop for these They got some real street niggas Turning rap for cheese BBN Jack Frost. Mike, What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, Adam Silva has met with Kyrie Irving. They had a nice conversation, and then. Adam Silver says, Kyrie Irving is not anti-Semitic. Okay. Now, I want to be clear about this. Adam Silver himself is Jewish. So, when he comes out or when anyone in any community comes out and say that they spoke with someone. And when we say any community, we, we literally mean somebody who stands up for their community, has spoken out for their community has been a pillar of their community and not in a divisive manner either in a pretty uh upfront forward manner while at the same time being respectful to other demographics of people or people that's a part of other communities i can say that even though a lot of people disagree with adam silver i stand with him in that particular principle now with that on that particular note i agree that that's what i've seen from him now with that being said when adam silver comes forward and says now looks over here is all of you guys, Kyrie Irvins, none of the anti-Semitic symbols, not a bone in them. When Adam Silver comes out and says such a thing like that, it 100% to me clarifies two things happen. <laughs> First, they did not expect for Kyrie Irving to stand his ground. When those reporters and when i say they i'm not talking about adam silver just so we can be clear i mean the individuals that decided to push this particular um uh, narrative onto Kyrie. even when he was first asked about the post he you know tried to pull, pull it away so that's who i'm speaking of i'm not talking about adam silver in this particular uh, instance just so we can be clear so when those particular people uh, started pressing Kyrie over this situation they expected for him to fold at least that's my belief and then after he didn't fold they expected for there to be enough pressure put on him in order for him to fold after that then when that didn't happen they thought they were going to be able to get because remember before LeBron spoke a couple of people came out and spoke on it that they weren't up to the level of many of the NBA analysts that have came out after. But 
there were people that spoke out in Kyrie's defense, just so we could be clear. And also, just so we could be clear, Kyrie apologized. I want to just, ju I just want to say that. He apologized. I just want to point that out. A lot of this happened after he apologized. I just want to be clear on that. So for anybody that thinks that Kyrie could have been more softer in this situation, I don't think he could have. Now, with that being said, when LeBron James came out and did not defend Kyrie and actually tried to stand on the fence the best he can while falling to the other side of the fence, and they saw the backlash that LeBron James got, the NBA knew that they could not withstand the crap that they were about to go through if Kyrie Irving has to go through any more garbage because of this situation. You're gonna lose. First, the majority of the people that play basketball in the NBA is black. See, now look, I had a conversation with somebody on our live stream, morning coffee, pull up. I had a conversation with somebody on our live stream one day, right? And they called in and I think they were just trying to slow the show up to be honest with you and just being a jerk But they were saying why don't the players just go make another league first of all That's not happening stop but They missed because they decided they wanted to troll rather than to be intelligent. They missed The most important thing that they should have thought instead of the team go and try to create black people go try to like come on stop I'm not going to go into that right now. We could do that at a different time. They can strike. Do you understand that right now the league is in fear of there being a strike? Now, do you understand that when Adam Silver went to go talk to Ty Kyrie Irving and had that conversation, I'm not saying he had his tail tucked between his legs, but I do think that he understood the situation. There could be a strike. Now, why is that so, 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 so important? What has our economy been doing the last couple of years? Well, the last year. Well, since the Democrats got in the office. <laughs> See, this is what happens when people try so hard to not be smart. They, they try to, oh, I'm gonna be super intelligent so over the years. And they walk right past the most obvious uh, uh, answer or the most obvious uh, response to some shit that is stop it first of all you first of all they uh, i'm not even going to speak about the logistics of trying to create a business believe me I've, I've i've tried to explain it to people enough for individuals not to understand it <laughs> that you're just going to think what the thing i'm telling you is a scam because more people are not going to understand than there are. So, with that being said, when Adam Silver had that interview, I promise you, he was in there as contrite. Pardon me. He was in there showing no contempt. Right now, they have to get Kyrie back onto the court. Have y'all been seeing uh, the people being pissed off? Because Kyrie, why was Kyrie suspended again? I need somebody to explain this to me. On a whole other note, remember that guy, Miles Bridges, who everybody said was beating up his girlfriend because that's what a lot of people thought, so he kind of got kicked out of the NBA? Apparently, she pulls up to his house on random days trying to bust in the place with weapons and the kids with her. So, yeah, NBA. I'm not going to say racist much, but... With that being said, I want to know what y'all guys think about this. Adam Silver says Kyrie Irving is not anti-Semitic. Now think about all of those people. Adam Silver, the commissioner of the NBA, if he's not a powerful Jewish man, I don't know what one is. Okay? You know how we might talk about a Tyler Perry will be like, oh, that's a powerful black man. We might talk about an Obama, that's a powerful black man. 
Know what the NBA is? The NBA is the league every other league follows. Even the leagues that make more money than them. The NBA is the freaking BBN of the fucking world. <laughs> I don't know no other way to tell you. The NBA is the league every other league follows when it has to, especially when it has to deal with black race relations. So think about all of those people that cut ties with Kyrie. Accusing him of something that now a very powerful Jewish man has said, look, he posted a book that was anti-Semitic. Whether the book is anti-Semitic or not, I'm not here to argue that with you. He said he posted a book that was anti-Semitic, but it was not for the reasons of anti-Semitism. If, if that's not a mistake, I don't know what it is. So now when people do mistakes that really no one actually physically gets harmed from, and there's nobody lost money, and there's no actual crime has been committed, and the person is themselves is contrite, and has apologized, and wants to move on and won't do it again. Are we still supposed to demonize and destroy this individual? A person who has literally said, oh man, I learned my lesson. I don't want to deal with that no more. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Grumps Bonus. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about it. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. toxic traits is I go out to public dressed like this and then I'd be like why the fuck is everyone looking at me like the fuck are y'all looking at but like girl you know what they looking at <laughs> you know what they looking at